Boom! kind of review what we talked in the last video for you guys we talk about react state what is a react state and we also talk about different ways that you can define them and updating the piece of data within your state as well and we also mentioned some of the gacha you should consider watching for highly recommend you watch it out if you haven't anyway we're going to continue this session with updating data within our state but this session is going to be updating uh, data within an array all right so let's without any further ado let's say we have an array here within our state called list and within this list we have something like mango and pineapple now i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and display this uh this uh and value this value inside my jsx i'm gonna go ahead and take care of them i'm gonna display them inside a ul tag i'm gonna go here and take this array within uh within our state once again i'm going inside my state here and and grab this value which is this list and i'm gonna map over it and this is the way we look over things in the react and i'm gonna pass it the tag i want which is li all right and within this tag i want to have some sort of value how can we get this value well this take a couple argument the first one is the value which means mango pineapple so we're gonna take this value and display it inside our li tag and then let's see if that works and ladies and gentlemen, it works. The only difference is React is complaining for us. We need to have a key property over every single child that we are looping over. So which is this one is considered as a child. So I'm going to pass it a unique ID. What is a unique ID we can pass it? We cannot pass it one because that's going to be one for every single time that it loop over. So what we really need to pass it is the index that's going to be starting from zero and keep moving forward it always going to be unique so that's why we pass it and we get rid of this error all right so once we have this now what the other thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to have a function and this function is going to be add new item and this this entire button is going to be when we click it it's going to add a new item inside our array and i'm going to set up a click event which means when i click it i want something to happen all right, and then we're gonna fire function here. We don't have a function yet. I'm gonna delete this one because I no longer need that. I'm gonna say, all right, add new item. And with this is the function that I'm gonna fire whenever I click this button. And what do I want to happen? I want it to add a new item, and he's going to be my new item. And my new item is actually going to be orange. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys remember, in order to update anything within our React state, we need this function called set state. All right, so what do I need to update? I want to update the list tag. I'm going to go ahead and, and copy the list tag here. And what is the value of the list tag? In order to get the previous value, I'm going to do this that state that list. And then I'm going to use concat. Concat is a the JavaScript feature. What this does is this add new value or even array inside another array that we turned a new array. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and, and concat the new item inside of it. And that should be able to add the new item inside our array. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how we do it. Okay. All right. Let's try this one out and let's see that we fresh this page. If we click it, it should be able to add it right there. And there you go, guys, as you guys can see. All right. This might sound a little bit confusing for you guys to use concat and all these jazz. Well, there is a better way. The other better way is we can use an array itself and use the spread operator from ES6. And we can do this, that state, that list. What this does is this take every single item inside of this uh, this array and put them back here. And then we can add a new value that we want to add. And in this case, which is the new item that we would like to add, which is this one. And if we try this one again, it should be working as expected. And there we go. We still got the orange. Once again, guys, the only thing that we're doing here is we making a copy and add a new item inside our copy and the whole reason that we're doing this is because react doesn't like whenever we mutate the state 
Well, if you use the push keyword, you are technically mutating the state and React doesn't like that. So we can't not use push in order to add a new item inside React itself.